hello guys welcome back to take dose and in this video i will explain you how to ace virtual interview so i will be giving some tips based on the setup part and also on virtual interview tips part so the setup parts will be five in number and the virtual interview tips will be seven in number so let us look at the tips well for the setup part the first most important tip is you should be technically equipped and what do i mean by that by that i means you should have a good internet connection you should have a decent webcam you should have a decent audio this is basically the most important part because in an interview you will be actually talking to your interviewer and he will be basically focusing on your audio this will be the most critical part okay this is the most important one so you should try to maintain as good audio quality as possible after this you can see about webcam now the last thing is you will be using certain app in order to give your interview let's say you are using skype then you should try to make some demo calls with your friend and see that everything is working perfectly fine you should not try this first time in your interview and get a nightmare so this is the most important part you should be technically equipped the second part is you should use professional id names so use professional id names for any account or any mail which you are creating let's say your name is ron okay so if you want to create let's say i am ron at gmail.com this is not at all professional ron's here lucky ron or shanks ron in this case i am using an anime character name this is very unprofessional these all are not acceptable okay now let's say your name is ron and you are studying in mit then your gmail can look like ron.mit at gmail.com you can use any domain i have just taken this gmail example Let's say you are studying in Thapar University. Then the initials are TU. So you can create ron.tu at gmail.com. But let's say this ron.tu is already taken. Okay. And now Google is suggesting you to take ron1993 at gmail.com since you were born in 1993. So avoid such unnecessary numbers because this is not showing any effort. This is showing lack of effort. If you are giving these type of names now. then your interviewer will think that you have not put any effort in choosing a professional id so how can they expect you to put more effort for the company so here only it gives a bad impression so instead of using this ron1993 if let's say ron.eu is already taken then you can try with ron williams if your uh, let's say your surname is williams then ron williams at gmail.com or ron williams.tu at gmail.com or rwilliams.tu at gmail.com or any such combination everything is fine okay but you should avoid this unnecessary numbers which shows lack of effort so this is something you should keep in mind while creating your id even on skype or even as your gmail id now the third point is check your background for video keep at least your face properly visible and use window in case no artificial lighting is available otherwise everything will be fine now once you have taken care of this video part at least your face should be properly visible the interviewer should at least be able to recognize you now the next thing is avoid noisy background this is the most important part because whatever you are being asked you will answer them and the interviewer will basically be listening to your answer and will decide what you have answered either it is correct or wrong so your face will not decide what you have told actually your voice will decide so you should avoid noisy background so that if you speak something at once then it should reach to the interviewer if you have a noisy background which is interfering with your communication then a communication gap will be created and interviewer will not be very keen to interact with you and so he will leave you that is he he may not hire you chances will be very high for that so even if you have prepared well you have worked hard for your interview but still due to this glitch you will be left behind so the voice quality should be taken care with high priority take care of area or place where you want to give your interview this should be planned beforehand the fifth point is interview spot selection so this is related to your audio and video quality select the time when there are minimal chances of distraction and so you will be able to give better performance if time is fixed let's say you are not able to pick your own timing they are giving you a fixed time then select a spot or even go to someone else's home 
for interview to avoid noise and distraction while giving an interview you should not be caring about something which is not related to interview like if you are having a home at road side and this is a very busy road then while giving the interview you will be thinking about what is coming on the road okay there should not be too much of noise on the road or something like that so you should not be distracted you should fully focus on your interview so you can even go to someone else's home where you feel comfortable so that will increase your chances of better performance since you will be giving full effort and full attention to just your interviewer okay time and spot or the place along with the noise reduction are the most important things which many candidates ignore and hence they suffer so if this is your first interview then you should take care of this beforehand now these were some of the setup tips now let us look at the interview tips now the first and the very important interview tip is for those who feel nervous during an interview so feeling nervousness may be due to different reasons but the three most prevalent reasons are due to a language barrier or due to facing an interviewer or due to the thing that you are not confident in yourself and you are constantly asking if you are fully prepared for the company for which you are sitting okay now let's see this language barrier actually uh, what you can do is in order to improve your language barrier you can try mock interview with your friends if you cannot do this then also it's okay actually in corporate if you are applying for sde that is for software development engineer then you are expected to communicate with others who knows english okay so you should be able to communicate with them even if your grammar is not correct or you are speaking some type of broken english even that will work as long as you are able to communicate okay so english is basically a mode of communication for the sdes so sdes are not expected to be very good at english but you should be able to communicate with your hr or with any person where the common language is only english so i have many colleagues who do not speak proper english and many of them are just speaking broken english type okay but they are able to communicate so there is no problem so if you are thinking that you do not have a good english you are lacking somewhere in grammar or something like that then you should not worry at all even if you speak broken english and you are able to communicate it won't matter believe me unless you are appearing for some hr or some communication type of interviews okay for sds it won't matter now for the interviewer part if you are scared of the interviewer then don't get scared actually the interviewer will do what he is hired for he will take your interview in the same way even if you get scared or if you are confident so better be confident okay you do not have the job itself so why are you so scared if you get scared then you will lose your focus and so you will not be at your full potential and you will just be giving let's say 40 to 50 percent of your effort in the interview okay so this is not a very good performance criteria you should give more than 100 percent at least you should reach to 90 to 100 percent so that you will crack your job so don't think about the interviewer in the first place you do not have the job so what can happen in the worst case they will not offer you a job okay so presently you do not have the job so nothing can go wrong from the position you are currently in okay so you should be a little more confident now for the third point am i fully prepared well nobody is ever fully prepared if you are sitting for let's say amazon then you might feel that okay these questions are asked on amazon this questions are asked on amazon and i don't know the answer for this one well believe me nobody is ever fully prepared so there is an element of luck whenever you are sitting for any interview so it will just depend you will have to cover the maximum syllabus as much as possible but you will never be covering the entire syllabus that is never possible because there are some questions which you will be never able to answer at the given point you might think about it for five minutes and after the interview you might come out with an answer but then uh, during the interview it is not possible to come out with an answer for each and every question they ask you so don't ask this question to yourself okay F be a little more confident so this is the first tip for those who are feeling nervous now the second tip is practice coding or writing in your editor or notepad where you are feeling more discomfort okay you should try writing code in that editor so i am very discomfortable in using notepad 
So imagine that you are asked to write the entire code in Notepad. I think almost all of you will feel the discomfort in writing code in Notepad. So you should remove this discomfort. You should face it so that the next time you are asked, it will be much less painful. So writing code in the Notepad and then submitting it in your IDE. Let's say you have written your code in Notepad and then you have just copied and pasted it in your IDE and just compile it. You will come to know about your syntax errors and where are you actually missing. So the next time you write your code in the Notepad, the next time you will improve. You will keep improving. Okay. This will require at least one week of practice. The longer you practice, the better you get. Okay. So this will improve your coding ability at first go because many companies will be looking for how you code in first go. So you should not make silly errors. In IDEs, what happens is when you make silly errors, then it just flashes or it gives you the red color or it gives you some suggestions about words. So this makes your life easier. But in Notepad, there will be no such thing. So try to code in Notepad. This will make you feel comfortable having asked to code on some weird editors during interview. So one such weird editor is Notepad itself. Now, if you have practiced in Notepad or some weird editors with no help, then it will make a good impression in front of the interviewer because you will be able to write very good code with very low number of syntax errors. Okay. Now, the third tip is maintain good body language. This is very important. Always try to face the interviewer and try to maintain face to face or eye to eye contact. Maintaining eye to eye contact is difficult during an interview because uh, you will have to look at the camera. So what you can do is you can uh, make face to face contact by looking at the screen. This emits your own positivity and your own confidence. And so this will be subconsciously transferred to your interviewer as well. Okay, so this is also very important. Now many students uh, try to cheat during an interview and many of your friends might suggest you the tricks for cheating during an interview, during an online interview. So I would suggest that don't ever cheat because the interviewer will come to know on seeing your body language itself and your delay in response. Now let's say if an interviewer doubts a candidate, even if the interviewer is having 10% of doubt on a candidate, then they won't hire because they will be having too many options to select from. Let's say 100 people appeared for the interview and they need to hire only 5 of them. So if they doubt someone, then they will definitely not be hiring them. And let's say out of 10 questions, you were able to answer 6 on your own, but you cheated and you answered 2 more. And the interviewer thought that he might have cheated and there is a 5% chance of cheating. Then he won't hire you because he has too many options. Okay, there are too many other candidates who have similar type of performance as well. So whoever is doubtful, they will definitely be rejected. Now, uh, the next tip is avoid distraction from mobile or family. Keep the mobile in such a place that you will never get distracted or keep it in airplane mode or switch it off and communicate to your family about your interview so that they won't interfere during the timing. Now, follow the offline explanation approach. As you might be knowing it, start from the brute force approach whenever you are asked a question a coding question start from the brute force approach when you are asked to optimize it then give the optimal approach now when you are asked about further optimizations then try to give it if it is possible okay so this is the approach which you follow in your offline as well as in your online interviews as well so also be prepared for the follow-up questions whatever you speak might lead to follow-up questions now the last point is also very important like prepare well for most commonly asked questions let's say there were four rounds and after you cleared three rounds this will be the last round let's say the hr round and here you are asked about tell me something about yourself or your strengths and weaknesses why our company why should we hire you and many such questions so if you do not give this round properly and let's say you are rejected based on this round then you will be kicking yourself because the three SD rounds you cleared will have no meaning now since you were not able to clear this HR round. Okay, so these are all available on internet. You can find it very easily and you can think what will be your answer because every individual might be having different answer. Everyone might be having different strengths, different weaknesses. Everyone might be having something about themselves to be told which will be unique for each and everyone. Okay, so you should prepare it well or even you can write it in a copy. 
this will be very helpful okay so these were some of the interview tips as well as the setup tips which i wanted to share with you now having seen all these interview tips the last thing which i would like to say is good luck to you and try to follow my tips so that you will get hired i will also be writing articles about this placement guide videos on my website so that you can come back later and you can just check it in a couple of minutes Share our video with needy people. Like and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video. See you in our next video. Thank you.